Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you can hear it behind you guys, it is raining here. <laughs> it still feels pretty good. It feels like spring, but it is a little rainy today. But I wanted to go ahead and take you guys inside. I like to do these home tours with all four seasons just so you guys can kind of see how the house is changing. And we're always doing home projects, so it just kind of gives us an update or we can go back and look at what it used to look like. So I really enjoy filming these videos for all of you. Now, if you are new here, I would love for you to hit that red subscribe button down below, but let's go straight into our home. Okay, as you can see, I probably should have swept, but it's just not gonna happen today, <laughs> it's rainy. Um, this black and white rug I picked up from Hobby Lobby. I always get a lot of questions about it. And then this home is our happy place is from Walmart and it's perfect because this is my happy place. So let's go ahead and go inside. Okay, so this is our front door when you walk in. So I'll go step over here so you guys can kind of see what it's like. This is a four bedroom, three bath, plus an office house, just in case you're curious. And I'm here in Oklahoma. Um, sometimes I like to watch these and just see how houses look different <laughs> in different states or different areas of the country or all over the world. But this is my new entry table. When I say new, I found it on Craigslist. Anytime I can find a deal there, I do it. I'm constantly on like Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. I check multiple times a day. I found this stainless steel entryway table and I love it. I think it's perfect. I found these ottomans at Home Goods. Um, these vases came as a set. It's actually a really good deal on Amazon. Um, this is from Amazon and this is from Ross and that is from Target. So I do budget shop. I don't go to like high end home decor stores. I think I would have like a sticker shock <laughs> if I ever did, but that's that space. I also have a little area over here. Sometimes I have a bench there, sometimes I don't. I don't want it to feel too cluttered. Um, so I kind of go back and forth. I might eventually put it back there again. And then we just hung some family photos right there. I do get asked about those a lot. They're from Fracture. I'll go ahead and put their link down below my description box. I don't have a coupon code right now but what's really cool is they're just glass prints so they're printed on glass they're not like canvas and then um this is just our coat closet i can show you it is <laughs> nothing special right now we have some coats in there some bins this is like all of our like gloves and stocking caps and all of that but that is it in there but now i'll take you into my office Okay, I wanted to show you real quick with the door shut. I don't feel like I've ever really shown that before on here. It is so nice that they close off, but you can still see in. Like I love having this just right here at the front. And you guys know me, I keep my office clean so it doesn't bother me any. And then I can just open these up. I go through, go through phases where sometimes I leave them shut a lot. And then other times I leave them open when I am doing like voiceovers or editing and I need kind of to block out some of the noise, I shut them. 
But my desk is from Ikea, and you guys always ask me what it's called. So basically it's three pieces. So these are Alex drawers right here. And I did buy these little knobs. Let me see if I can get it to focus off Amazon and then Chase just installed them for me. Now we did screw them in, but if you wanted to um, like take glue and just glue them on, you could do that as well. But I feel like it updates the piece. It adds a little glam and they're easier to open and like the white gets less dirty. Now this top, it comes in different sizes. I actually had to buy this one off eBay because my last one got messed up really bad in the move and Ikea doesn't ship to me. They do, they're just really expensive. So I found this off eBay, but they have cheaper ones on Ikea if you're gonna already be getting the Ikea drawers. And then that chair right there is pretty new. I don't know if all of you guys have seen it yet. That is off Amazon. The pillow is Ross. The blanket is Ross. That is my wedding dress. So I get asked about her all the time. So it's been like a year, year and a half. We actually named her over on Instagram and we call her Pearl. You guys always wanna know why I have her out. I just like looking at her. I like the reminder. I don't ever want to put her in a box tucked away like in the attic or underneath the bed. If she gets a little dirty, fine. At least I got to enjoy her. But so far, so good. She's doing just fine. And then this area over here, this was $20 from a garage sale. I got two of them. So they're $20 each. The pillow is Ross. This little vase is Ross. Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, Ross. So I love Ross. I don't feel like it's been the same since like after, you know, COVID and all that. I don't feel like stores have as much going on, but I used to find really good things there. I still check a lot. I just don't feel like they get as much as they used to. So I'll kind of show you again. I also have this light in here. I love this thing. It's off Amazon. I'll link it and you can like twist and turn those whichever way you need them. But I just think that's so pretty in here. So you can come in this way. And then I also have like a walkway through here. Um, I love this nook. I love this. This is from Amazon. I can have linked. The only thing I don't like is I am using this as my office. So it's hard when I'm doing voiceovers. Um, because I can't like close it off. So like if Chase and Savannah are being loud or cooking in the kitchen, I have to kind of be careful. So if you guys ever hear them in the background, it's because I don't have a door and I can't add one. So just so you guys can know, this is super, super tall here. I'd have to wall this off, which we may eventually do, but I can't like add a barn door because like there's no space here for it to slide. Like if it slid, it would cover our powder room bathroom and it can't slide this way because it would go into our pantry and you can't do pocket doors because pocket doors are just hidden behind there. So I'd eventually just have to completely wall this off, which I could always make this into a closet, I thought. There's no closet in here. I don't technically need one because it's not clothing, but I could wall that off and then add doors right here if I ever needed the space. So that'll all be in the future. It's not a guaranteed plan, but it's a possibility. But that is my office. Okay, so now we're gonna head into Chase's office. Right here, I always get questions about this. This is just a futon from Walmart. Um, if I can find a link for it, I will, but if not, I think they're still in Walmart, but it's nice if we do have guests over. Um, we do have a guest bedroom, but if they have like more kids, we can always lay this out and make it into a bed. This little black wall art piece right here, I feel like is really good for like a man's office or a man's space. Um, finding, you know, wall art for, like a men's room or area is hard, but that was from Home Goods. And then these two pillows on the side were from Amazon, so I'll have those linked. The rug is Boutique Rugs. If you use Ash 60, you'll get 60% off whatever you buy. Um, and I'll try to link like his chair, his desk, anything I can link, it's gonna be down below in my description box. 
Um, but here is his office. We definitely want to do a feature wall back here. Um, we just haven't had time yet. We're going to get there. We still have lots of projects we want to work on, but I just kind of wanted to update you guys for this spring home tour. Okay, now I'm gonna take you into Savannah's bathroom. I love this bathroom. I don't know if it comes across on camera, but this bathroom is so big. It's actually bigger than the master bathroom we had in our old house. I would have killed if had this <laughs> um, a year ago in the old house. She's just got tons of storage right here. So she's got tons of drawers, tons of like deep, huge drawers and cabinet space. She has more storage up here. She is even lucky enough to have like a whole closet right here um, in her bathroom so she can keep, you know, different things to get ready and jewelry. Of course, she's got it looking very pretty. This is also where she keeps her laundry basket, her robe. I don't know. Isn't that just like a dream for a preteen? It would have been for me. <laughs> I would have taken this last year as an adult. But anyways, this is her space right here. She has flowers because she was just in a dance competition. And then she keeps one of these really cool little refrigerators for some of her beauty products. So that is her bathroom space. Okay, since we talked about her bathroom, let's go ahead and come into her bedroom. I don't show this a lot just because she's growing up and I don't wanna bug her. She's in here working and doing homeschool or playing, but I did wanna just bring you in here today. I love her space that she's created in here and she came up with all of this on her own. She was buying pieces during the move because she knew she wanted to kind of redecorate it. These lights are amazing and they're off Amazon um, and they turn like you can get all different colored ones. So if she wants clear one day, if she wanted to add color, like you, there's just a setting. These will also twinkle. They'll do all different motions. And what's nice about these is they actually, you can do batteries, but they can plug in down here. So we don't have to go through like tons and tons of batteries. So I like that feature it comes with a remote so she can dim them down at night she uses this as like a night light she just turns them down a few notches and then her bedding is all from like amazon this is amazon her pillows um, are more from like home goods and ross and then the headboard my dad made um her nightstand is from amazon but we did add the knobs as well um this little shelf thing is from ross the swing i love the swing in here she's constantly just sitting in here in it like reading or on her phone it's from amazon and then i just got the ivy from um, hobby lobby and added that to it the curtains and the rod i love the touch of gold up there are from amazon as well as like all of this stuff i want to say this is from home goods her mirror but I'll take you in her closet too. So I feel like her room's a little more grown up. And then I feel like in here you see more of like her playful side. So these are all her dolls. And Chase built these shelves in here so she would have a place to display them so they weren't getting smashed. And then these have all her like doll accessories in them. I'm sure as she gets older, this will be like shoes. She can use this for like handbags and shoes and all that so it won't go wasted. Um, and then she's still got lots and lots of areas to hang clothes. And then that's her little doll's room and space down there. So she's got a really good closet. Like, I don't think you can tell on camera, but, um, like a ton of people could fit in there. It's a nice walk-in. So I'm so thankful to have that.
Okay, so we'll come back to the living room here in a second, but basically this is where our guest bedroom is over here. It could have been an office, but I wanted to give Chase and myself the better rooms for the office just because we're in them every single day and we hardly ever have guests. So this is just a space over here off to the side. It is nice. It's like secluded. So if somebody comes, they won't disturb us working. They won't book Savannah. It's not close to our bedroom. Um, you know, in a dream world, I'd love to like knock this wall off and add them a bathroom if we had a ton of guests coming i might think about that but we don't so and when we do it's like my sister so she can walk across the living room i will say the boys take over this room a lot they like it um this room it feels the most cozy to me because it's a lot of our furniture um from our last master so there's sometimes i just i haven't spent the night in here yet i need to just do it um because it's like our same tv it's the fireplace it's the same mattress and headboard we did get some new like bedding and sheets but even our nightstands are the same um so every time i come in here it just kind of feels like home do you guys know what i mean when i say that <laughs> so i just really need to come in here one night and spend the night because it just seems so so calming i love our new master but everything's pretty much new in there so here's just a look i do keep a basket down here that's where the boys know to grab their toys i've never really shown in here it's not clean i'll open it up basically in our last house we had stored in our kitchen island for like extra home decor and I didn't have that here so I just thought why not throw it in this closet since nobody's ever in here let me turn the light on real fast so you can see it and as you guys can see right here we haven't this is like one light we forgot to replace so this is like normal lighting that you guys have in your house and then we do daylight bulbs so you guys always want to know how like bright and wide it is in our house you have to get like the 5k daylight and you can see right here like you know it's just more orangey yellowy but anyways just in case you're wondering but this is the closet so it just has extra pillows and towels for our guests greenery that i'm not using flowers lamps <laughs> benches laundry baskets this is actually the tv that goes outside but our movers dropped it and broke it so we've got to figure out what to do with that like how to get rid of it the correct way i have extra decor pillows this is my trusty um <laughs> stand for my camera when i'm filming i always use that as like my tripod stand it's just always been so good to me anytime i use an actual like tripod stand my camera breaks so i love that guy but this is our guest bedroom This is our powder room. So this is for our guests when they just come by for a little while. Um, obviously, if they're staying with us, they would go in Savannah's bathroom and she could just come into ours. Um, but that hasn't happened yet. So <laughs> here's our bathroom. It's perfect. I honestly thought I'd miss, um, in our last house, we had three full baths. So we're missing a tub in this one if it was like our last house. But I actually really like it. Nobody ever used it and it was just a lot to clean. So I like that this bathroom just stays clean. It's just for our guests. I mean, obviously we use it sometimes, but I think it's the perfect size and I don't actually miss having that whole extra shower tub. Now we are heading into my laundry room slash mud room. Oh my goodness. So in our last house, our laundry room was small. It worked. It was fine. Um, but I love that 
I actually have like a mudroom space. And in our very first house, um, our laundry room went into our garage and I didn't like it, but it was also the size of like a postage stamp. So it just didn't work. Like if Chase came in from work, he like hit me when I was doing laundry, like with the door. So this space works out perfect. When we come in from the garage, we can just drop everything off here. If we have any dirty jackets or shoes, it can go straight into the washer. I don't know, it's just the perfect setup. I didn't think I was gonna like the flow of this and it works perfectly. Um, this whole built-in unit right here um, is amazing. It holds so much stuff. Plus we can come in and drop our bags backpacks, jackets. Then when you go to leave, everything's right here because this is the door we go out. I don't know. It's just, it's helped the flow so much. Plus these down here, I think two bins could actually fit. I need to just find like deeper ones, but it just holds so much storage. Over here is where we like hang dry clothes. I also have my vacuums um, hung over here. I did pay extra to have this outlet put um, right here. I'm going to say it was like 55 or something. It wasn't a lot. Um, but then my vacuum cord didn't have to hang all the way low and I wasn't going to be able to hang them here because there wasn't an outlet at all. I didn't want them right there. I didn't want them messing with my dryer. So that was a nice little upgrade and I feel like it's a perfect space for them. Tiger does eat and drink down here, but he's like so little the vacuums don't bother him and he isn't bothered by the vacuums. He thinks he owns them. I'm sure you guys know that already anyways. And then if I get any questions about the floor, I love them, but they were already in the home when we found it. Um, we got to make a lot of choices, but the flooring was done and he did awesome, but I don't know the name of that. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to send us info over on like tile and the wood floor, but I haven't heard back from him. But I love both of these and I hope to get you guys some information on it really soon. Let's head into our master suite now. I love this long walkway because I can hang our family photos. I could even put some over on this wall, but I like to keep it simple. I don't want it to get too busy. And then as you walk in, I feel like this is the perfect size bedroom. So in our last house, it was just a little bit too small. And this isn't huge by any means. Like I have a lot of friends that have double the size of this, or they even have like little sitting rooms in them, which is so cute and sweet. But if you don't have a big house, I feel like this is a perfect size bedroom. We have a decent size bed in it. We have decent size nightstands. Um, we have a dresser and we still have room to walk. Um, our last bedroom was just so cozy and tight. I'm just so thankful for this space. Um, all of the matching furniture like this is from Ashley Furniture. This is that other $20 chair. Um, the mirrors, I always find at Kirkland's. Um, Ross has them, but they're never as big. Um, the plant was originally from Walmart, and then the base is from, it was at Target, like, clearanced out. Um, but I love my snake plants. They are real. It's the only thing I can keep alive. So if you can't keep plants alive, try the snake plants. And then my lamps are on Amazon, I'll link those. My bed is Amazon, my bedding is Amazon. The pillows are home goods. I'll take you into my bathroom here in a second. And then I love like the tray ceiling. This is a chandelier that was in Chase's house growing up and we've just taken it from home to home to space to space. I love the barn sliding doors. And then this rug is one of my all time favorites. I love it in here. Um, and it's from Boutique Rugs. And like I said, I'll have that link down below in my coupon code. But now let's go into my master bathroom and closet.
as you walk into our master bathroom, you can see it goes straight into our closet. I love having a bathroom with attached closet. So our first home you didn't see, but it was set up that same exact way. Whereas the last house that you guys did see, it had two different doors, like it didn't connect. But I love like closing the door, be able to take a shower, get ready, get dressed, and not having to come out until I'm fully wet ready. Like I can stay in one area, especially on cold mornings, you can just stay nice and toasty. So I love the flow of this. This is our bathtub. I still have to replace this guy. We had to choose him with our builder. Um, they didn't give us a gold option, so we're just gonna have to change that out. I haven't had time yet. Um, we did switch out the light up here. You guys have probably noticed. I, it was just perfect. I found it on Amazon, and it matches all the hardware in the house perfectly between that like clear and gold, as you can see. So we added that. We have more glass prints in here. I need to update these. I don't feel like any of these look like my people now, so I need to update those soon. I just haven't got around to it. And then this is our storage. And then over here, if you're new, this walks into our shower. We have no door. I love it. I hear so many people complain that it's cold. We have never gotten cold in ours at all. Um, we do have a heater right here, he added, but I've only used it like twice. So I don't know. I don't know if it was the way it was designed, if he did better insulation, but I don't get cold at all in there and I love not having to clean like a glass door. And then over here we have two sinks, tons and tons of storage, all right here. I did a whole video organizing all of this. So if you wanna see what it looks like, definitely check that out. I also need to do like an organized home tour. I did that at my last house where I really didn't talk about decor. I just showed you inside all of our drawers, inside all of our cabinets. So if that's something you wanna see in this house, just let me know. And then I'll take you back here to our closet. This is like where our toilet is. I just keep that shut. And then our closet I love. So at the last house, you guys know, I took over our, basically our um, guest bedroom because me and Jace could not share the closet. We couldn't even get ready in the bathroom together because it was so small. So it's just nice to have a little more space in here. I have all my stuff. These shelves are all just from Walmart. Um, I had them in the last house. I have a thing for grays and blacks, just in case you're new. And then I have a little pop of color. I put it way up here um, because I rarely use it. I did buy this coral um, bright dress for the beach when we go this summer. And what's cool is you just grab this and pull it down. So those are called seasonal rods and things you don't need as much or like when it gets warm, I can put coats up there, but then just pull it down if I need it. So we've got them all around there. So that is our closet. So now let's head into our kitchen. I'm kind of coming in from a different direction over here. Um, right here is what I call pretty much like our coffee nook. So like all the coffee stuff's here, the microwave. Like I said, I kind of want to show you inside all these cabinets, but I'll save that for another day so this video isn't super long. But um, as far as colors, this is Cadet Blue. We put it in our last house on our island and just loved it, so we did it again here. And then um, the paint, all the white paint in our house, even the outside, is alabaster. And then this tile took three times picking it out. Everything we were picking was either too much or I didn't like it and I changed my mind and I kept explaining what I wanted, but they didn't have it on the showroom floor. Finally, the third visit, as I was like explaining it to this guy, he was like, hold on, I think I know what you mean. And it was in the back um, on clearance. So I'm so happy with this. I love that it's exactly what I wanted. We even saved a ton of money on it. It was just meant to be. So definitely when you're talking to builders, like keep or even like designers, like have pictures, have Pinterest. As soon as I think I showed him like a picture of like the idea I wanted, 
he knew what I was talking about. So definitely don't settle. <laughs> I was so happy with that. Um, all of these knobs are from Amazon. So in the last house we had Chase just add them, but our builder gave us the option. It was like, I wanna say like 75 or 100 bucks. It was super cheap to have all the hardware installed. Like um, his workers did it. So it was totally worth the money. So we did that. Um, these are probably one of the things I get asked about most. I follow Christina on the coast and flip her flop. I love her. I am inspired by her. I can't have everything she does. Like we have two completely different budgets, which is totally fine. But I saw these and I bet, I thought, I bet I can afford canisters. <laughs> so I went on a search high and low for three days. I finally found these on Amazon. They were the last set. I can't even link them for you. I'll keep checking. So if they ever come back, um, but I was so excited. I ordered them, got them in. And the lady, the delivery person, like threw them on my porch and broke this one. So as you can see, we glued it back together right here. It's cracked, um, but I loved them so much. I thought I'm just gonna make do. Amazon was awesome and gave us our money back. Plus I got the canisters. So that was another win and I don't mind if they're cracked or not. Um, and then over here, same hardware. I picked this guy up from Ross. I love that it's marble. This is from Amazon. This stuff I get asked about a lot. So my hand soaps, I just found at Home Goods, and it normally is in like a matching dish. It was $7.99 for the whole set. But anytime I pull out this tray, you guys go crazy. It was a set of three, but it was like a serving tray for three of them, and it came from Sam's years ago. It was a gift, so just keep checking them. And then, over here, my dining room. This is a new table if you haven't been over in a few weeks. We did replace the brown. We just needed to fill this space more. And I will link it down below in my, Am or not my Amazon store. I'll just give you the link because it was from Wayfair. But hold out, it goes on sale. Like I wanna say we got it for around 400. It was like 420 something or whatever, but it does go on sale. And this is it extended out. And then if I wanna shorten it, the leaf goes inside the table so you don't have to store it. So super nice and easy. The chairs are from Amazon. Rug, it's boutique rugs. You guys catching on, I love their rugs. And then all the lighting in our house is pretty much from Amazon, so I'll have all that linked. I'll link my trash can. I did a ton of research on that. Um, it made me feel super old, but it's a good trash can. And then um, the bar stools. The bar stools, I wanted these so bad. Um, I finally found them on sale at Walmart and then my dad reupholstered them because the color I didn't like. Actually, if you check out my last video, I show how he recovered them for me. So if you wanna see that and kind of see what they looked like before, go check out that video. And then this is our living room. Now let's talk about my living room. As you can see, it's like an open floor plan from our kitchen. Um, the mirror is from Home Goods. The flowers and the base are from Hobby Lobby. And then those candlesticks, the gold ones, were from a garage sale and I just spray painted them gold. This lamp, I always get a lot of comments about. It was Ross. It was so cheap. It was like under $22 or under $20 and it's so lightweight, but it looks so grand on the wall. Um, and I've seen it there again. So definitely just keep checking your Ross. I think I even saw it at Home Goods. It was just a little bit more, but definitely check them out. Um, the sofas are new from the last time we talked about them, I think, in my last home tour. We love them. I know they don't look comfortable, but I promise you they are. We lay on them all the time. The rug is boutique rugs. This table, I just did a whole video on step-by-step -step on how to paint furniture. So if you're looking for something like that, check that out. We also did the same thing with this dresser and made it into a TV stand. We added hardware and feet to it just to kind of make it look more put together. Um, I'd love to find something to do with this wall. I just have not come up with the idea yet. So I have to be really careful because I like to keep things simple and I don't want it to like clash with the fireplace right here. 
So I'm not sure what it's gonna be yet, but that will definitely be a future video. And then I'm gonna turn around kind of slowly so I don't make you guys sick. Bear with me. Um, this wall, I've gotta figure out something to do with as well. I almost wish he would have extended the cabinets a little bit more and we could always have him come back in. Um, so we might do that and that gives us like less wall space to have to come up with than I could just do like a piece of art or something there, but this is our living room. Okay, so I think we hit every space inside in today's video. Like I said, as it gets warmer outside, we're gonna be doing a ton to the outside of the house. We haven't really been able to even touch that yet because when we moved in, it was during winter. And so I'm so ready to have like green grass and do some landscaping. We're planning out our patio as we speak um, and trying to design that. So definitely be on the lookout for all those videos. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got some tips for decorating your home. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.